Today I would like to show you how to make your own Spätzle. And as you probably already know, Spätzle is a form of homemade noodles and they go well with any kind of roast or lentils or any other dish. So um, what I have here, uh, per person you need 100 grams of flour, one egg, a little bit salt and nutmeg and about 50 milliliter water per person. So I have here three times the amount because just for one person Schwetzle is not really enjoyable. Um, so what do I do? First I add the salt and the nutmeg. Then I add the three eggs. And now I mix first so the flour is not too much dust here and add not all of the water at once, just about half the amount first to see how the dough is coming. And you see the dough is still quite hard so I put in a little bit more water so mix it well until you have kind of a gooey it looks a little bit actually not very nice but uh, it gives those little strings so after you do that you have to give the dough about 20 minutes rest and afterwards we can show you how to continue. Now we would like to finish our Spätzle. And I do have here Spätzle press. It looks very similar to a potato press. Uh, in case you have just a potato press, uh, make sure your dough is a little bit softer than usually. So add a little bit more water because uh, the potato press is not as stable as this one. This one is quite sturdy. You need uh, boiling salt water and then uh, of course for later you need one of those trainers and one of the um, ladles to get the Spätzle out of the boiling water. So I just put my press on top of the pot and I scrape some of our very gooey dough into the press and probably fill it about halfway. I would recommend not more because otherwise it's really tough to press. Close the press and press the Schwetzle slowly into the boiling water. Take your time, don't go too fast. And then scrape off the rest. And give it just a minute to boil up again. Gently stir it so they don't stick together or stick to the ground of the pot. That will take more or less a minute, not too long. The water starts boiling again already a little bit and Basically, as soon as they are floating and the water starts boiling again, they are already done. And then we just put them, put the, scoop them out and let them drain. After you have drained them, you are ready for the next batch. A lot of schnitzel with just that little amount of dough we had in our pot. And we repeat, adding the water to boil again and filling our press. If you don't have a bread press, some people can actually use a cutting board with a smooth surface 
and a sharp knife and then you can put some of the dough on the cutting board and just scrape noodles into the hot water. It will take a little bit more time and it's not as easy as putting them through the press. I'm actually not good at doing it like, like that, but it works as well. So just press them gently again into the boiling water. Scrape it off. And gently stir it so they don't stick together. And one little warning, you see it's quite messy, that press. So if it's quite messy like that, please do not use hot water to clean it. Use cold, cold water to clean it first. After you have all those nice holes clean, you can use hot water, water to finally wash the press. But if you use hot water, they solidify it nicely in each hole and then it's really, yeah, time consuming to clean it. I'm taking them out. And if you want to, you can melt butter in a pan and just quickly toss the noodles in melted butter and then they are perfect for as a side dish for all different kind of meal. And put them in a bowl. And we can see our end result. And then we have our nice Spätzle. If you want to, you can also put some onions on top, roasted onions. So if we want to use our Spätzle we just made and want to make Käse Spätzle, so cheese Spätzle, we of course need our Spätzle. We need grated cheese, uh, whatever cheese you like. Uh, I prefer not too strongly flavored, but other people I know, they really like strong flavors. Then you need a fireproof bowl and just kind of put some fat, some margarine, that's what I usually use, and spread it out nicely. So you have an easier time to get out the Käsespatzen later. Then you take the Spätzle and just put a nice layer of Spätzle in your bowl. Make sure you have one layer. Just spread them out. And then we take cheese, cover it with a little bit of cheese. Put our next layer of Spätzle on top of it. Making sure everything goes in the bowl. Spread it out. And then put the rest of the cheese on top of it. So now I have pre-warmed the oven to about 200 degrees Celsius. And I will put this into the oven until the cheese is melted and gets a nice golden color. So in the meantime, I can cut some bacon, not too much, um, into fine pieces. And then also an onion and I prefer to have just the rings or nice big parts so I don't like it cut too fine. And I put these all into a frying pan with a little bit butter. So I have the onions, the bacon and a little bit butter in my pan and I just let it fry until it is the, the onions are nice and soft. Oops. 
Ecco. So now I have the queso spatzen. So as you see, it's nice and golden brown. The cheese is nicely melted, and I have my onions already here. And um, then I just kind of spread out some of the onions on top of the dish and then it is ready to be served. We usually like some uh, salad on the side, just a green or chef salad or something like that. And that's the perfect summer dish. <laughs>